What's up guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun and Moon coverage with some more Mega Speculation and we are in Johto once more and as usual let's just jump straight into this, no need to go into it much but we're starting off today with a possible Mega Blossom. So Blossom is your Grass Poison type, it's the alternate final form of Oddish and Gloom, the one being Vileplume obviously which we covered in Kanto but Blossom, obviously if Vileplume were to get a Mega you'd assume Blossom would get one at some point and I think Blossom is a, is a reasonably good candidate for a Mega, I could see it happening at least. In terms of typing, I can see about three possibilities. Grass Poison obviously carrying on and staying. There's also Grass Fairy being one possibility because it sort of is, you can set it for a load of Grass type Pokemon, but it's, it's one of those where it's sort of, you could you could, you could could see a design change in which you know, it would make it a Fairy type. Or the other one here is Grass Fire, and this is because it's actually related to a, a, a Hawaii hula dance sort of thing. And because we're in Hawaii, it would sort of, kind of makes sense it will be a different it obviously the design change would be a big one but it, I guess it's a possibility as any typing is but it's one of the ones I'm gonna be focusing on so Blossom there Mega Blossom in terms of stat changes I think the main sort of stat changes would be in special attack and special defense special attack because that's sort of Blossom's attacking method it's not really a physical attacker at all and special defense because its special defense is already reasonably high its defense is obviously fairly low because it's a pretty small sort of delicate Pokemon so you wouldn't really make a huge amount of sense having a big boost in physical defense. You know, have the main boost in special defense and then obviously boost attack and defense a bit more as well. So including speed too. Speed would probably get a reasonably good boost. Um, but not as high as special attack or special defense. In terms of ability, there aren't a huge amount of ideas I came up with this. Chlorophyll is one because it's a basic ability so it can carry it across and get double speed and sunshine. Which will work well for solar beam and such. So there's one possibility there. Another one was Pixelate, obviously this would be if it were to become a Grass Fairy typing, um, being able to transform normal type moves into Fairy type moves and get stab on them with a boost as well. I'm not sure, I can't remember off the top of my head what you know, normal type moves Blossom gets, but I'm sure it could make use of something. And a similar one to Pixelate is another sort of possible ability or, you know, purported ability, Immolate, which is similar to Pixelate and stuff like that, and you know, turns normal type moves into Fire type moves, Immolate to burn, whatever, you know. And that would obviously be if it was a grass fire type. So sort of one um, ability for each typing there. But uh, abilities are sort of where I got stumped for Blossom. I'm not too sure how to make an ability that synergizes with its kit especially well. And that's what I usually aim to do. But that is Mega Blossom now. I reckon it would be pretty uh, reasonably good. You know, I don't know. I don't want to say like, oh yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's likely it gets a Mega. Because obviously it's not really likely. But I could see it happening at least. That's Mega Blossom. And if we then move on to another Mega... I, I don't think is a likely at all. That is Mega Azumarill. Yes, Azumarill. Is it going to get a Mega Evolution? <laughs> unlikely. Completely unlikely. Why? Because it's already perfect as it is, basically. It's got it's attacks that isn't huge, but it has huge power, and that makes it basically as strong as a Mega in many senses. So is it going to get one? Unlikely. And for that reason, I have focused this idea on Mega Azumarill being a defensive Mega Evolution rather than being offensive. Because if you go for the offensive route for a Mega, you either have to take huge power away, in which case it would never get used, or you have to boost its attack even more, and when you get that high up, it's just it's too powerful. So, But Azumarill obviously being a Water Fairy typing, and if it were to become a defensive Mega, I would have to see it keeping the same typing, Water Fairy. I mean, I can't really see it. I mean, yeah, maybe it could lose the Fairy typing, because it doesn't really make a huge amount of sense it has that. But Water Fairy is what I'm going for here. In another sense, as I said, we're going for a defensive Mega Evolution here rather than anything else. So, I'd see the main stat changes obviously be Defense and Special Defense. And the thing is, if you take away huge power, its attack isn't actually that brilliant. So, it's not like you have to actually reduce the attack or anything to make it sort of not too OP. Ability wise, I have not less than huge power here, because huge power is obviously it's hidden a bit, no it's not hidden as a normal ability, but as I mentioned, defensive mega evolution, so if it were to happen, it would be defenses of what we're looking at. Thick fat I believe is one of its normal abilities, so it could carry that across and gain sort of resistances to fire and ice. Obviously it's already got resistance against both of those, but even more, to sort of help up building up against those moves. It could also get a water absorb, I suppose, to make it immune to water type moves, but then again, you don't really need that. So the other one of this to take is Sap Zipper, which would make it immune to grass type moves. So that's sort of the most beneficial of these abilities, because obviously it would also get an attack boost there. But all of these abilities here are you know, immunity ones. There's, you know, I don't want to give it an offensive ability. If it were to become defensive, I, mean, I think yeah, Sap Zipper would probably be the best one to have for it, because it gives you immunity to one of your weaknesses. And 
Of course, you can get the attack boost if it does hit you, in which case, you know, you can actually maybe do some damage back, but obviously, inherently, Mega Azuma will not be powerful to start off with, you would have to have the chance, I guess. So it's unlikely it's going to happen, I cannot see Mega Azuma happening, but if you guys can sort of see it happening in any case, and sort of make a Mega that works out that it's not... And it's not worse than the normal Azuma Reel, because obviously if a Mega Azuma Reel is not better than a normal Azuma Reel, there's no reason to use it, because you're just wasting your Mega Slot. So if there's any scenarios you guys can think of that makes Mega Azuma Reel usable but not too overpowered, let me know down below. But, let's say move on to Mega Pseudo Wudo, yes. Mega Pseudo Wudo. So Pseudo Wudo is obviously a pure rock type introduced in Johto, as always people want to Johto, I don't know why to say that, but I do. Pure rock. Obviously some people think it should be rock grass because it's based on a tree, but it doesn't really have that much grass about it. But if it's become a mega evolution, obviously it could stay pure rock, that's completely fine, or it could gain the grass type there. And this sort of case would be if it were to get sort of more foliage, basically. If you look at this mega design, you can see here it's actually gained the, um, the sort of the tufts of grass around its hands, which have turned into sort of bushes, and then um, it's actually got some sort of foliage on top of its head, so in this case, I could see you know, a grass type being a possibility for it. But if it didn't gain too much, obviously it would have to stay pure rock, really. Stat change wise, I'd say obviously Pseudo is reasonably defensive anyway, so I'd see it being you know probably just a, a attacking Pokemon, basically not attacking, rather defensive Pokemon. What am I saying? Um, so getting bo boosts in both defense and special defense, and this is an attack drop here. Maybe not a drop, but you sort of like a, it doesn't actually change at all, you know, it just stays the same. It doesn't really need an attack boost. I don't think it needs an attack drop though, but it's just there to illustrate points. In terms of its ability, there are two I've got listed here, one being Rockhead, which I believe is suitable as normal ability, um, which makes it immune to recoil from recoil moves, and that would be useful if it ever got head smash. If it would get head smash, you know, that would be really, really helpful for it. Uh, that's sort of the reason I'm not giving it an attack boost, basically, because if it were to get head smash with rock head, an attack boost is not something you want, because it would make it too, too powerful. So, um, that's that there. All the other one is solid rock, which is obviously sort of a parallel to it. Instead of being offensive, it's defensive. So that one might work pretty well for it, you know, given it's defensive mega. Um, just to, you know, it obviously sort of nulls or reduces the power of its super effective moves against you. So that's useful for defensiveness, or you know, Rockhead could be there to balance out defensive offense. So it really depends how it goes along there. But that's Mega Pseudo Widow. Then, if we move on to Mega Politoed, yes, another alternate evolution of Generation 1 Pokemon, Politoed. Being a pure water type, you know, as an alternate final evo for Poliwag rather than Polarath. So instead of the water fighting type, you get a pure water type here. So, Mega Politoed. What would we do with Mega Politoed? Well, I can't really see the typing changing at all for a Mega of this sort of nature. What would you add? You know, what are you going to add to Mega Politoed to give it a different typing? Maybe Ground? Yeah, because then it's exactly like Quagsire and the rest of those, so there's really no point to doing that at all. Um, so I'd say Pure Water, really. It's not really anything you can change or, or swap around there. Stat change wise, I would see it being a defensive Mega Evolution. It's got a reasonably good special attack from memory. Um, so I didn't really want to boost that more, because obviously then it might be a bit too overpowered sort of thing. But, um, giving it, you know, not a huge defense boost, because obviously it's not, like, it's, you know, look at your Politoed, it's not a hugely defensive Pokemon, you know, looking at its design and such. So maybe, like, a reasonable boost in physical defense, and then a decent boost in special defense, and also, obviously, boost in special attack as well, and smaller boost in other stats, but mainly in the defenses. Ability-wise, sure, it could carry Cross Drizzle, yeah. If it carries Cross Drizzle, the benefit to that is once you sort of, you know, after you've Mega Evolved, you can actually switch back in again and get the rain back up, rather than being a sort of a one-time thing when you said Polo Toad in to begin with. Or you can have ability that would synergize with this rain. First one being Swift Swim, obviously, which would um, double its speed. So, you know, you go in, Polo Toad, Drizzle, Mega, you've got double speed, not on the first turn, but on the second turn. Uh, I believe that would be when it would take effect. So you get double speed, and then you've got a couple turns to just do, you know, be speedy, 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 and do what you want until the rain runs out, and your ability to sort of nullify is because that's it, unless you have rain dance somewhere else. I mean, you can give it to Metapolitan as well. The other weather or the other rain ability is Rain Dish, which is a similar manner except it restores health points, so that's pretty decent. You know, we can't complain about that, I suppose. You'd be able to take hits for a, for a couple of turns and also get some, you know, inherent. Regeneration because obviously you can't give it leftovers or anything because it's a mega, so you'd have to sort of think about that. 
but rain dish worked pretty well, you know, go in, have a rain for a couple of turns of rain dish, and then you just use rain dance yourself, or have something else on the team that has rain dance that can use it to do that, I don't know. That's Mega Politoed, basically its ability, its generic, its mega in general, would have revolved around the rain, because obviously normal Politoed does that anyway. Then, if we go on to the final Mega for today, we have Mega Jumpluff. Yes, Jumpluff is a grass flying type, and it's not really a Pokemon that's used at all, I guess. It's sort of, it's not a fight to the back. It's not very overly powerful or anything along those lines. So, what will we do for a Mega? Well, it could stay grass flying in terms of typing, or I've seen one idea being thrown around as grass fairy. Again, this is the thing we talked about with Blossom right at the start. It's one of those grass types that you could see turning fairy in some cases, but we don't want to add fairy to anything, so I'm not too much of a fan of that typing, so I'd just say grass flying, because obviously otherwise you're going to be weak to ground type moves, and it's not going to make much sense, because Gem Plus is still, you know, floating around in the air. So grass flying would be my, my choice for this one. Stat change wise, I'd say it becoming slightly more especially defensive bolt, especially bulky I guess is the, is the term for that, uh, so a rise in special defense as well as a rise in speed too, not necessarily a huge rise in special attack or physical attack because it's not really an offensive Pokemon if you look at Jumpluff, you can't really imagine it going around and, and beating stuff up. I'd imagine it to be a tank slash supportive Mega Evolution, so obviously it's not going to be like a super tank where it takes up loads of damage, but it could also have a supportive ability to support it. Good job man. Well, Infiltrator is, I believe, one of its normal abilities, I guess that's why it's listed first, which would be useful, I guess, because it allows you to hit past substitutes and screen and reflect and stuff, but, as we said, Jumpluff isn't really an attacking Pokemon, so I can't see how useful it would be. Uh, it can hit past Safeguard, I believe, though, so that might be the only use, but apart from that, it wouldn't be too useful, so I would, I would you know, sort of shy away from that. If it was from a Grass Fairy, you could give it Levitate, I suppose, to sort of still give it the, the immunity to ground type moves, but then again, you're a Grass Fairy, you don't really need immunity to ground type moves, because it's not, not, not that you're weak to them, so it's just what's the point there. The ability I would most like to see from Mega Jump Buff is Prankster, which gives priority to status moves. As I said, it'd be a tank slash supportive Pokemon, so I want to have it be this sort of little speedy one, with also have from Prankster, uh, and be able to go in and you know, set up a Leech Seeds, for example, uh, to give you know, help restore its health points, so tank stats and stuff, um, and as well as giving it stuff like I'm pretty sure it gets like stuff like Stun Spore and that, which could be useful in being sort of annoying Pokemon that could just be speed, outspeed everything. You know, Stun Spore you, you're paralyzed. Oh no, you're fully paralyzed. You don't get to you know do that. The turn they set Leech Seed up, and now you're paralyzed and you're Leech Seeded, and they're faster than you because you're also paralyzed. So it could be annoying in that sense, but. That's really all to say for Mega Jump Pluff. If you guys have any ideas for any of the Megas discussed today, Blossom, Azumarill, Sudowoodoo, Politoed, or Jump Pluff, let me know what you think about them down below in the comment section and throw down some of your own ideas there too. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, because, you know, that's what it's there for, I guess. I don't know. Um, but for now, this is going to be it for me for today. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.